terms of cost, you know, developers um, can't get away from the fact that these increased targets are going to lead to increased build costs. It's really about working with your consultant to ensure they understand the commercial implications of any changes so that you can play around with the ultimately the recipe to ensure that you're not spending, you know, you're not increasing costs in certain areas where you don't potentially need to and being savvy with the, the modelling to, to create the best, best solution and, you know, that's value engineered and, and buildable. So with the government option one uh, full fees target, um, it has meant developers looking at their specification, their fabric specification, walls, floors, windows, um, air tightness, in order to you know, value engineer that and work out what is best for their business. So some of the key areas for thermal bridging um, is the ground floor, uh, the lintel, uh, and room and roof junctions are, are the key, key elements. We've seen with the new um, fabric energy efficiency standards that in, you know, really focusing on your linear thermal bridging is absolutely key to a, to a solution. We've seen developers be um, res very receptive to the high therm lintel. Um, it's a relatively low cost um, item that does improve performance. Also, it replaces a, a, you know, a product that's already in the house. So a, a lintel replaced for another lintel is a relatively simple win and simple fix. And in terms of the high therm, it's low cost. It gives improvements in the fabric energy efficiency and it's easy to install.